So we're going to just do uh, just a little intro video, if that's okay, Chuck. So I'll try and just do a little bit of a piece to camera. So here's our Veruca, which has been present for how long, do we reckon? Oh, over 15 years. Over 15 years. Yeah. So since you left school, then. That's, been yeah. a while. that's been a while. And you just told me you're slightly nervous. <laughs> well, I am too. I've only done three of these before, do I? So I'll be okay, though. So in terms of location, so... We're going to take some callus off in a sec, so we're not going to needle the whole thing because you know you end up with quite a big lesion. So my partner in crime, Belinda, who we do a little bit for needling courses, we would often say you just need to really needle an area of it. So I, I don't want to give you a big, big, big sore area. Mm. But you know when we spoke last week when we, when we met for the first time, we talked about cutting it out, and, and funny enough, I had a lady in just yesterday who had a lesion exactly the same as you, a little bit bigger, right in that area, mm. and she's been needled twice and she's not had any improvement from it, and she's had, a, so actually going to cut the whole thing out, but, um, but you end up with a really big wound. Yeah. So, but the needling we like to try first, it's about 50-50-ish. Yeah, okay. So she's had two rounds and she's no better, so actually for her she's going to end up, we're going to do a, a cut the whole thing out and do, what I'm actually going to do for her is actually do a, a skin graft and rotate it in, but, that's a story for another time. So for you, you this is all of your lesion here. We're going to needle this spot to try and develop this cell-mediated immune response. Um, in terms of local anaesthetic, so this is just a this is a this is a cheatable area. So I'm going to show you this technique again, guys, because I think it's been a, a help. I'm speaking to more to the podiatrist in the Twitter sphere out now. So we can obviously do a tibia block coming from there. And try and block the whole of that plantar surface. Now we know the split between the medial and the lateral plantar nerve is, is through the fourth toe. So if we do a tibial block there, what will actually happen is we'll catch the lateral plantar nerve and all the lateral will go off. Um, is kind of what happens through buggers. Look, um, or we can do our little cheat techniques, which I'm going to do now. So I'm going to come from the top of the foot and just do a local infiltration, but from the dorsum. So I'm going to leave the video running while I prepare some local anaesthetic. We've done consent. We'll do skin prep now and we'll do coffee is what we're going to do now. Coffee. So I'm going to do a little bit of skin prep. So we always do, although it's a, it's a not very invasive technique, it is invasive. There's always that slight risk of, of an infection. So we're just going to prep where we're going to be, see if this that's all got nice and purple now. So we might give you a little bit of a purple tattoo there, Chuck. Mm -hmm. Have you seen the bottom of it before? <laughs> yes. it, 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 right. It was purple before, just, just in case. Oh, okay. Yeah, just, just in case you didn't I know. I didn't remember that. Yeah, did you not? No. Yeah, it's always been. You've always had a purple spot just where you had the Baruka. Strange, okay. that. And then we're going to prep on top. So there's different ways. One of the things I, I like to teach, guys, is local anaesthetics. So we're going to use... We're going to use for this, we're going to use... Just a little picture, a little bit of 0.25% marcane with adrenaline. This is, this is the bit we were looking forward to. No, I know. I know. Yeah. 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 It's not it's not the most displeasant bit, is it? No. no. <laughs> this is the okay then die. So okay. little scratch. Three, two, one. Now, you might feel a little slight jagging as I get close to the, okay. the area. Just, you'll feel a little pinprick coming through. Yeah. Oh, you made me jump then, Joe. Oh, sorry. That's all right. Sorry. I'm going to have to charge you extra for that. <laughs> oh, oh, don't pull a face. That's what happened to me. I do. I'm fine. Oh, I'm tense. Well, me too. <laughs> I'm fine. You know, I'm going to have to edit those oohs and ahs out of the video. Yeah. Three, two, one, done. Okay. Oh, don't do that. Don't pull a face. Oh, that feels weird. <laughs> so it's just that first little. So one of the things that we, we teach in anaesthetics is we don't like to do an injection through the bottom of the foot because that's really stingy. Yeah. 
So one of the things I, I teach is I do a little cheat technique where I come in from the top. So that first scratch, you don't feel badly because it's no. fine. It's just as you've infiltrating in. The other option is to go for the for the for the, for the ankle nerve, but that takes a little while to go off. And you know, actually, you can you're quite close to the big nerve, so that can be a bit scratchy as well. Yeah. This is kind of nice in terms of efficiency. And then what I'm using, I'm using a little bit of adrenaline so it doesn't bleed. So, but I'm just showing off now. <laughs> right. So here's our needle. So any sharpness there, Chucky? No. All right. So comes off to one side, and then here is our needling. So we're basically you don't need to do the whole area. You just need to effectively what we're trying to do. Dad, do you feel that a little I bit? I feel a bit there. Okay, I'll work up on the top. Because you just need to create some trauma, try and release a few of the viruses, virus particles, and then push them below the dermal epidermal junction. Now, what always happens when I'm doing a video is somebody comes in, I can't believe nobody's come in just yet. Everybody's outside. Christmas party today. I know, I thought you'd can have you cancelled. Well, we, we're not allowed to go out, so we're having we're having some lunch bags delivered right. and we're going to be socially distanced. It's going to be like the worst Christmas party ever. I felt really bad when you said you were doing my foot instead of having your Christmas party. <laughs> oh, well. But that's the kind of commitment you're looking for in your surgeon die, isn't it? It is, yeah. You know, you want people to put themselves last, put the patient <laughs> first. That's what I'm looking for. So this is not bleeding a lot at all because I use the adrenaline. Okay. Which is, which is good. We don't need We don't need extra claret. So we want to do lots of little passes. So this is where it'll be a little bit sore afterwards. Okay. But with a with the needling, I'm trying to release as many little virus particles as possible. What's that show? Release the balls. Was that yeah. was that the lottery? That's the lottery. Re release the balls. Yeah. So it's kind of like that, trying to release the virus particles, and then push them below the skin. So the the, the body can go. Oh, you've got Veruca. Right. Well, I sort that. Because at the moment, the body is blissfully unaware that the Veruca is there. And it grows, so, it grows so quick, that hard skin on it. Yeah, what's well, one of the, the three things they do? Hyperkeratosis, papillomatosis and acanthosis. Look at those big fancy words. Hyperkeratosis is hard skin. So it's one of the things it does as part of its pathology. So it produces hard skin, which is a lot of where you get the pain and discomfort from, because it's like walking on a corn. But yet... Sometimes I can just be lying in bed and I get a real sharp pain yeah, yeah. going through my through my foot, like a burning, almost like somebody sticking a needle in there, if you like. Do you, do you feel that in your toes? No, it you only don't. goes through the bottom, of, only goes through my foot. Do you feel it in your fingers? No. If you don't feel it in your fingers, you don't feel it in your toes. So you'll find that love is not all around and the feeling <laughs> doesn't well. Yes, correct? Yes, that's Good. correct. Good. That's the one. Who, was, who did that originally? You see, my husband says I know the words to every song, but I never know who sings them. Uh, that's the Trogs. The Trogs? Yeah. Done by Wet Wet Wet, obviously in the film. Yeah. Uh, four Weddings, wasn't it? Four Weddings and Funerals. But yeah, yeah, done originally by the Trogs. Things you're learning. We don't charge extra for this. <laughs> As they say, every day is a school day. It is every, every day is a school day, yeah. So we're pretty done. We talk about creating a, what we call a beefy red wound. So we're trying to really kind of mash it up. Oh, but we think. don't need to do the whole area. We're basically just trying to, because all you need to do is, is, is get the memo to the, the immune system. Yeah. One of the other things that I do, Di, is I'll take a little section of skin and I'll implant it in the foot. So the body, it's another, there's an implantation technique as well, which I do. The downside of that is you can create cysts. So that's, I don't, that's not my go-to, but I've done that. Yeah. But we're just hoping this stimulates the immune to yep. attack you. You got it. Okay. And that's us done, Chucky Egg. Excellent. So plaster, bit of pain relief, because it'll be a little bit sore. Yeah. Um, have you got my mobile number? No. And that's why. So you can't ring me. That was that was another one of those jokes. Yeah, I've got you. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'll do I'll give you the jokes ahead of time so you know which ones to look to laugh okay. at. Okay. Okay. You are fabulous. Was I? Literally the best patient to have all, all, all day. <laughs> the best patient. That's not the point, guy. 
So a little light dressing because that's really not blood much at all because of the adrenaline. Okay. So we're going to keep you here just for five minutes just to check that there's no claret, no no strike through. Okay. And then we'll get you back and then we will see you in two months' time. We 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 really find it takes a couple of months for the body yeah. to get the memo. Yeah. Um, and then the plan is when you come back in two months' time, that will hopefully have all gone. Now the last guy that I did, he had three Verrucas one two and one on the other foot and he came back to see me he was two months post and so i don't think it's worked so he had all the calluses there i took the calluses off and they were all disappeared underneath so he just had the residual calluses that was right, just okay. growing out and i only needed one and the other two went so the idea is if you get the memo then the, the body will get rid of all of them okay and um, have i got anything specific to do with it for a few days or yeah so no housework no cooking Okay, um, and uh, you can watch whatever you want on TV and your husband can't say no. Okay. Do I have to keep it dry or just, anything? Just today. Just it's today. A, it's a simple wound. You end up with a little kind of a scabby escar just okay. because um, it's just like you've probably not got any tattoos, but if you ever had any tats done, it's just that same sort of scabby that just falls off after a few days. Okay. Cool and dandy. Right, I'll stop it there. So Di came back to see me in the spring. She was better but not best she was less symptomatic but certainly not veruca free and certainly not symptom free so i did a second round of needling and it's not uncommon for me to do a second round particularly if i see improvement from the first so that's what she had done in the late spring um, repeat veruca needling and then i saw her back in the let's have a little look it would be september of 2022 and that's the next bit coming up I think right so Di, I'm just going to prep this again so we've done two rounds of needling on this haven't we yes so you are virtually veruca free what you've got is a little touch of hard skin and really the reason you got the verrucas in the first place is because you you overload the central met so you've got a bit of a tailor's bunion going on so these are just somewhat prominent. So it's not the Veruca you're feeling now. No, I didn't, I didn't think it was the Veruca I was feeling. It's not scar tissue because you don't really get scar tissue with Verrucas. It's just the fact your, your bones are a bit prominent. Now, what some podiatrists refer to is some, something called a drop metatarsal head. There's no such thing per se. <laughs> What they are is somewhat plantar flex compared to the others, so you're putting a bit more pressure on that. Now, that's the sort of thing as a plan B, I could kind of break and reset the metatarsals and because you that bone's really prominent, but that's why you got the verruca in the first place because you yeah. overload that, you damage the skin, that's what gets the verruca in. So, you get these verrucas here because of you're hitting there hard, but you're verruca free now. Yeah, Skin's... I said to you, my foot, my foot looks, my well, foot looks fantastic, but this pain in my foot every time I put my foot yeah, yeah. on the floor, it's a such shame. It, it, I'm like having pains down my toes. And... Do you feel it in your fingers? No, you, I don't. You, 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 you just feel it <laughs> just in your toes because that that love can be all around you yes. and that grows. You see, so right. But so it was just kind of asking you what it is. Yeah. What can I do to try and ease that? So it is having knobbly feet. I'll just check you're still in shot. I'm going to come back a little bit there. That's awesome. So it's just been, I mean, that's what I can really feel you right on the bone there. I mean, if anything, almost feels like you're getting a little burst underneath there. It's just a little sack See, of fluid. See, when you touch it. that, I can, I can feel it. I can feel it. It must, might, might be on my nerves, but I can feel it coming down my toes. So you actually, I can actually feel some bursitis underneath there. If we scan that, I can actually, feel, you can't even, see, I can really feel it. Sorry, it's okay. No, no, it's fine, it's fine. I've been dealing with it for over it. <laughs> so what a shame. Veruca gone, but a little bit of bursitis there over this very prominent metatarsal head. So what I actually want to do now is get you scanned. So we're going to, going to get ultrasound scan of this and just see, because it might be that we think about doing a little um, bursectomy to kind of take this out or even think about breaking and resetting some bones. But the, the purpose of today was to say, yeah, you're Veruca free. But so two steps forward and about one and a half steps back. Yes. Right, I'll stop the video there so I can carry on swearing because I've had a mare this morning, haven't I, Dan? <laughs> right, no more swearing. The purpose of this video was to show Veruca needling. 
used for a 15 year old lesion it's a real shame for this lady that although she's veruca free she's still got pain over the third metatarsal phalangeal joint as, as i've said in the previous vid it's entirely likely that because she's overloaded that particular bone that's what's caused the skin irritation and allowed the ingress of a veruca so she's still got symptoms we're going to scan her we're going to do some insults and it may well be i need to do something surgical for her. this particular pick is actually one of my favorite veruca needling picks that uh, belinda and i did from our needling courses uh, but if you've got this far thanks for watching and look out for more videos coming up thanks very much